How's it going guys, Zedai here. So I definitely wanted to discuss this very new details relating to Metal Gear Solid Delta. There was basically an unexpected showcase a little bit relating to Metal Gear by the name of Metal Gear Production Hotline 1 and that aired on the 28th of June. So we actually got some extra details. I definitely want to go through and give some highlights relating for this upcoming game. So I want to touch on relating that, well, <laughs> interesting facts that the way that they've gone over, right, they have summarized a lot of things already that we were familiar with. As an example, it's going to have far more realistic environments and it's going to be Unreal Engine 5 instead of the Fox Engine. And I personally think, of course, it's a good move since Unreal Engine 5 is the newer version, but it could have been interesting to see what the most newest version of the Fox Engine could have been. I still think that the Unreal Engine 5 here is a good route to go with. Now, there's going to be some enhanced simulations of stains and battle damages so you will be able to actually notice them such as an example like bullet holes and it actually makes it quite intriguing one of the extra details there i have showcased an updated cure system and a menu design which looks well let's just say more modernized with the appeal of the old school look everything that you notice here comes up and it's real time Anything that whenever you get stains or maybe you get some mud or bullet holes as mentioned, wounds, blood, everything is going to be here within your own character. I really like this approach. Now there's going to be new and legacy style options such as you will be able to have different color filters. They are by the name of Normal, Sepia, Retro and Legacy. So you can actually have make a choice. Do you want it to have more modernized look? Do you want to have similar original orangey filter that Metal Gear Solid 3 had? Or do you want to go with Sepia? Do you want to go with Legacy? It really depends how you want to go about. Just basically there's going to be four different options. Now, there's also a little bit of an extra mention regarding of the original camera angle and of course the controls. So it's all going to be present here. But if you still want to make a choice of going old school, everything is going to be up to you to make that kind of decision. So there's going to be plenty of options. A pretty cool thing, you can move while crouched or aiming a weapon, so you have a free camera style. And since the original game, this pretty much never, never was present here. I do not know how anybody can actually play this game while you would not be able to move while crouching, as an example. That's insane in my opinion. <laughs> Actually, a little bit of a mention that there will be no story changes. Maybe in some ways it's unfortunate. I feel like they could have expanded some things. But again, if that's the decision that they decided to go with, I'm not going to argue. Now, Virtuous 2 Support Studio is going to be part of this project. Let's just say that. And it's going to be interesting to see how far can the developers take this remake and how much of an improvement will it truly be. Now, we can clearly see everything that has been done and touched up regarding of this game. And everything that I have noticed, it does look fantastic. But I'm just very worried, again, because it's Konami, and I'm very worried that Hideo Kojima has no involvement with this. Now, regarding actually of the Hideo Kojima, so uh, this remix producer, Noriaki Okamura, said that actually they would love to work with Hideo Kojima once again. So it's always nice to see that they're actually saying it out loud and also giving it a little bit of response. I did hear as well that original uh, credits are going to be present, such as like Hideo Kojima is in some ways still going to be in this remake. Now, it's not going to be as an obvious like Hideo Kojima game, right? Like he always likes to have his name all over the places. He stamps his name. It's, it's a traditional candy he just wants to give out or something. I, I, it's odd. <laughs> A uh, little bit of details, a little, perhaps outside of this game as well, that Konami is quite happy with all the positive feedback that this game is receiving. And they're actually straight up front even showing how negative the comments can be for this Metal Gear Solid. And a lot of people are still, of course, doubting it. But there are others that are very much just like in complete denial and don't believe that this game will be anything special. Now, again, we'll have to wait and see for that. Another interesting key detail, I think that a lot of people will be very happy to see that there will be a return to the intro of the game. If you guys have seen, well, I'm sure you have seen many of the intros, 
that the, a more of an animated look the original Metal Gear Solid 3 had, yes, it will be back here as well. And that's pretty much all in relates to the news. Even though this was unexpected, we still got some extra details relating to Metal Gear Solid Delta. I'm very much looking forward to it. I do hope it comes out this year. I kind of don't, I don't think so, honestly. I do think it may get pushed to 2025. But nevertheless, thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys all later.